Today, I'll show you the best free plugin to create variable products in WooCommerce like this. And no, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I found this plugin after a lot of trial and error. But before we get into that, in case you are a beginner, a variable product page looks like this, where users can select different sizes, colors, and other variations of the product. This is a very simple design that I created within a couple of minutes, just to demo some benefits of the plugin. For example, here I've added two attributes, size and color, but you can add any attribute you want and as many as you want, which is nice. But the first big benefit would be that by default, WooCommerce gives you dropdown options like this. But this plugin lets you show it all visually like this, which is so much better. Now, there are five sizes and three colors here, meaning that normally I would have to manually create 15 variations of this product, right? But I'll show you how you can create all variations automatically with just one click, which is so convenient. Another cool thing is that I can also show variations on the shop page like this. So this free plugin has many such features and enough suspense, it's called Variation Swatches. And it's such an easy plugin with so many benefits that I'm sure you'll really like it. Once again, this isn't a sponsored video and I don't get any affiliate commission here. So if you find this plugin as helpful as I did, just leave a comment below and that would make my day. So let's dive deeper into what all this plugin can do. And don't worry, we'll do everything step by step. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's install and activate the variation swatches plugin by going to the plugin repository. Now go to product attributes by clicking here and then here. You can now see that we already have two standard attributes added by the plugin, color and size. Let me delete this one so that I can show you how to create an attribute. Now on the left side of the screen, add a new attribute by giving it a name and a slug. A slug is just a unique reference point for your site. You can also change the sorting order by clicking here. I'll set it to custom ordering for now. Then I'll choose a variation type. I'll click here and set it to color. By choosing a shape, you can decide how it is displayed on your site. Let's choose this as a circle for now. And you can also customize the shape of the circle from this option. As you can see, color has been added here as a new variation. And if I click on it, this menu will open up. Here, I can add all the terms or forms of this variation. Like for color, I'll add red by naming it as red adding the slug and picking the actual color that will show up on our site. After adding a description, I'll add other colors like this. Coming back to the main attributes menu, here I'll select the size attribute and click on it. I see that all the sizes are already set according to the options I need. Let's try to edit this by clicking on it. Here I'll be able to edit the name, slug, type, and other settings of this attribute, similar to how we add a new attribute. For sizes, I'll set the shape as rounded corners. Let me now show you how we can add these attributes to a product. For that, create a new product by clicking here, name the product, and add other details. From here, upload the images of the product, then choose the categories and product tags. Now scroll down and change the product data to variable product by clicking here. Before we move forward, let's talk about the shipping settings. Don't forget to configure the shipping weight and sizes to make sure the products don't face any problem when they are being sent out to your buyers. Now in the attribute section, click on add existing and choose color to begin with. And on this values menu, choose all the colors we added earlier. Now it's time to add size as a new attribute. To add size as a new attribute, let's repeat the same steps. Add all the values. And once done, hit save. Now come to variations. And here you'll see generate variations and add manually as the options. 
The beauty of this plugin is that just by pressing here, you can add all possible variations directly instead of adding each of them one by one. After adding these variations, you can also remove these and edit them one by one. You can also add a price for all of them by clicking here. I'll also set this variation as default by choosing the red dress in M size. This will make sure that whenever someone opens the product page, they will first see this product by default. They can then choose what variations they want to buy. Now I'll add images by clicking on edit on the first variation and clicking here to open up my image library. I'll choose my image and save it. Let's do the same for other variations. Once everything is done, hit publish and let's check the product page. Wow, all our variations are visible here and the buttons to choose them are also appearing in the shape I chose for them earlier. I can make this even better by adding upsell and cross-sell products by adding them here in the linked products section. If you want to explore this in detail, just check out this video. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.